What are the pros and cons of living in the state of Oregon? Stay tuned because I'm going to share five pros and five cons of living in this state, especially where I live in Bend, Oregon, the eastern side of the state. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me here. Today it's all about the state of Oregon, which because I live here, I happen to think is a wonderful place to live. So what are the five pros of living in Oregon? The first thing that came to my mind when I started thinking about this topic is weather related. So the state of Oregon kind of cuts right down the middle and the western half is wet colder and wetter, but that also means it's greener. And then the eastern side is going to be drier and yeah, not as green. If you live in the state of Oregon, you get to choose if you want wet climate or you want dry climate. Either one, we've got both. And besides wet and dry, we've also got big cities like Portland, Eugene, and Salem, and tons of little tiny towns that I can't even remember their names and we've got suburbs so if you want to live in a suburb and commute we've got it all so on the western side of our state you've got the largest city portland at about 650,000 people then you've got some other medium-sized cities like salem and eugene that are a little bit farther south of portland those are about 175,000 people and farther south, you've got Grants Pass at about 40,000 and Medford at about 85,000. So lots of cities to choose on that wetter western side. Now on the eastern side of the state where I live, Bend, where I live, is the largest city on the eastern side. So east of the Cascade Mountain Range. We are at about 105,000 people. On the east side of the mountains, you're going to have drier climate about 10 inches of rain per year and anywhere from a few inches up to 50, 60 or more inches of snow depending where you choose to live. In Bend we get an average of about 30 inches of snow per year. Sometimes we get 60, sometimes we get 12 inches of snow. So it varies greatly but about 30-ish inches is our average. So if you like a drier high desert type of climate which gives you all four seasons. We have a hot summer, a mm, pretty cold winter, a mild and a bit breezy um, fall and spring, then Bend might be a great place for you. On to pro number two for Oregon, that is the natural beauty. Wow, Oregon is a gorgeous state. From top to bottom, east to west, it is beautiful. On the eastern side, we have tons of mountains, rivers, lakes. We have the Painted Hills. We have Smith Rock, which is just gorgeous. I can see probably 10 mountain peaks from just living in Bend. I can see them every day. Just in the Cascade Mountain Range alone, we have 13 mountain peaks. So if you love mountains, rivers, and lakes, this is a great place to live. We have the stunning, rugged, beauty of our coastline. Places like Canna Beach and Haystack Rock, all up and down the coast, it is rugged and beautiful. So from the coast to the wetter areas in the valley where everything is so green and we have wine country, um, there's just endless possibilities of beauty for you to look at if you live in Oregon. Pro number three is outdoor recreation. It's everywhere, and like I mentioned, all of our mountains and beaches and all those places provide tons of recreation. So we've got skiing, hiking, biking, paddling, boating, snowmobiling, skiing, snowshoeing. The list is endless for the outdoor activities that you can be involved in all year long. And the other thing is that, it, especially in Central Oregon and Bend where I live, Everything is really close, so you don't have to go more than an hour or so, and oftentimes it's closer than that, to get outdoors and enjoy the beauty of this wonderful state. Pro number four is pretty simple. We do not have 
a sales tax in Oregon. So every time you purchase something and even those big purchases like recreational vehicles or cars, groceries, anything, none of it. It's just, if it's $9.99, that's what you pay when you check out at the store. Pro number five, and this is specific to Bend, where I live in Central Oregon. Bend is a great, growing, vibrant town with lots of entrepreneurial people who are coming here and opening new businesses. We have a little bit of tech. Um, our hospital is gonna be the biggest employer, but um, food trucks, restaurants, all kinds of fun, interesting businesses are always showing up in Bend. So that's five pros. I'm going to get to the cons, but if you're thinking that you might be interested in moving to Oregon, why don't you click the link down below and grab a copy of my relocation guide. All right, so whenever there's a pro, of course, there's also a con. So here are the five cons of living in Oregon. Number one, we do have a state income tax. It goes up to 9.9% .9 at the highest. So it varies depending on your level of income, your taxable income, but we do have a state income tax. Number two, Oregon schools are not top of the list. Our schools are ranked number 42 out of the 50 states. Although I will say California ranks 41st, so we're not far behind California if that's of any help to you. Con number three is traffic. Now this is more so in the Portland metropolitan area um, and basically all up and down the I-5 corridor, you're gonna find lots of traffic. Even in our little lovely town of Bend, Oregon, our traffic is getting a little bit worse because we're growing and there's more cars and more people here. So we're trying to deal with it. You just take a breath and honestly, Traffic in Bend is nothing. If you're used to big traffic in a big city like San Francisco or LA or even San Diego, our traffic is, mm, yeah, it's nothing compared to those places. Con number four is the cost of living in Oregon. It's not cheap. You would think this is kind of a cute little, you know, Western state, like we're not California, so why would we be so expensive? But Oregon is not cheap and home prices in my city of Bend are about equivalent with the big city of Portland. So um, that can be hard to swallow for some people. We don't have as many jobs. We don't have as many high paying jobs. So you'd be much more likely to be able to afford the price of that home if you lived in Portland and had a higher paying job. So that's just the way it is. It's challenging to earn a living and afford a home in my town of Bend, Oregon. So, so if you look at the national average for cost of living, um, Seattle, Washington is 168. Um, if the average is 100, they are way above it. Portland and Bend, um, both Oregon cities, are at about 132 and 131. So we're pretty even. So we're still more than the national average. The city just north of Bend um, is a little bit smaller, about a third the size of Bend. Its ranking on the cost of living index is about 113. So it's, it's cheaper to live in Redmond than in, than in Bend. And if you go way out east in Oregon to a city called Baker City, which there's really not much around Baker City. It's a very small town. Um, their cost of living is 79. So way less than the national average. So we have a bit of everything in Oregon. Um, there are less expensive and more expensive places to live. Number five on my list of cons for Oregon is that in this crazy state, you are not allowed to pump your own gasoline. So what do you think? Five pros, five cons. Is Oregon a place that you might consider moving to?